Our culture is made up of everything that's around us. That forms us. And so if we lose parts of our culture, we begin to lose our national identity. The Radix Rising project is about consolidation and refurbishing uh, some key buildings in the limestone landscape area. Uh, and during the development phase, we had to decide which ones uh, we could do, obviously, uh, because of limitations on cash. Uh, and so we've chosen four buildings uh, across the area, uh, including the Western Tower on the western side of the area. We've got uh, the CM Lifeboat building, uh, and we've got the uh, Hawthorne Hive lime kilns. Uh, and here we have the, the Hedden Smithy. Um, and the idea behind them is we've chosen buildings that are, were made out of local stone, natural stone, that need some uh, repair and, and some, uh, a little bit of TLC, uh, either to bring them back into much greater use uh, or to uh, show people how important these buildings were in the past uh, and to uh, uh, educate people about the, the importance of them. Uh, through interpretation and, uh, and various educational programs. Well, it's not been without its difficulties and challenges. When you've got an old building which has seen, um, has not seen much in the way of repair over its recent past, um, there's a lot of water in the building and there'll be rot as a consequence of that. So we've had to do quite a bit in repairing the rafters. But of course, what we've done is we've tried to retain as much original fabric as possible because that's key to conservation. Um, we've had some trouble with our south gable walls and maybe also some difficulties with our hearth as well, but perhaps the builder will tell you a bit more about that. But what we've, did, what we've done is use uh, proper conservation techniques throughout, lime pointing, using the original materials, rebuilding it as necessary. The interesting part in terms of sourcing what we have is we've used Beamish Museum um, and through their goodwill and, and contact through Durham County Council who are obviously the, the, the major client in this we were able to go up there and salvage an element of the pan tiles and glass pan tiles which are very rare um, and we're able to take things from, from, from their sources for that and they were very keen to see salvage materials that they didn't have a, an immediate use for used in a, in a development or a scheme like this so that was good we also were able to salvage some railway sleepers which are on the floor and across the doorway so again there's a there's a sort of historic content if you like in terms of what we've been able to get hold of to put back into this building and it's being kept local to the northeast of england which i think is brilliant well this particular project in in the, the Henton Smithy, uh, we need to obviously finish the building. We are hoping to be doing that in the next couple of weeks. We've got a Heritage Open Day uh, coming up where the, the building will be open. John Guy, the owner, will be doing a demonstration of the blacksmithing. We'll have a display of how the building was uh, refurbished and uh, how it's come back into life. Well, I think there's too many of these buildings being pulled down and dismantled. And uh, I think it's part of the countryside, it's part of Hetton itself, really. If you go outside of Hetton and you're trying to direct someone into Hetton, you're always here. Make your way to the blacksmith shop at the Fox and Hounds in Hettonley Hall. And most people always know where the little shop is on the corner at Hettonley Hall.